welcome back to my channel for those that aren't subscribed to this channel my name's Shakira I'm a post well no I'm a graduate now so I'm a graduate basically it's just gonna be a short quick video giving some tips on the legal practice course and advice and just I've now completed my masters um, in the LBC so it's just giving some advice to current students out there that are currently doing the LBC or that are considering doing the SQE which is the solicitors qualifying exam. LBC is only going to be, I think it's January 2021 is the final intake for the legal practice course and then after it's going to be the SQE. So right now I've just thrown this jacket on, I have got a crop top but I thought for any um, future employer that's watching this or future law firm that I'm working at, if they watch this video, come on YouTube with like no clothes on, threw this jacket on. This is here, I've not long come back from the gym so this is a protein shake and then I've got some food which I'm going to eat before I go into this but stay tuned and I shall be two hours later back to this video okay so my first tip is to only do a masters if your career requires you to do a masters please do not do a masters for the sake of doing one there's actually no need you are wasting your time do a masters if your degree requires a masters and also so basically for the lpc it's a legal practice course and it's a postgrad qualification however to get the student finance you have to do it as a masters but if you have the money to just do the legal practice course as it is then you don't have to do it as a master's degree so the master's part of it 1,000 and 15,000 word dissertation or you can do a legal project which is 5,000 words that's only at my university so I went to Nottingham Law School I don't know what it's like for all like different law schools at Nottingham and um, basically yeah 5,000 word project and a dissertation which is 10,000 words plus that's the master's aspect of the degree and that gives you a master's degree and obviously you've got your postgrad qualification the legal practice course so people take the legal practice course because they want to become a solicitor if you're doing a law degree right now and your goals you're a bit unsure you don't know actually whether or not you want to be a solicitor you're just doing law because you enjoy it you want to go into a field somewhere like legal um, but it's not actually a solicitor that you want to be or even you're going to be a barrister so if you're going to be a barrister then you'll do bar the BPTC um, the legal practice course it's solidly if you would like to be a solicitor you need that degree next year the legal practice course is changing it's going to be the SQA and for that you need to two years relevant work experience and then you'll just do the solicitors qualifying exam i think it's 72 exams one's multiple choice um you'll have to like do some research about the sqe and which one's best for you but i know the intake is literally early next year for the lbc and then everyone will just have to do the SQE onwards. I suppose if you're deciding at this moment of time whether or not to do a LBC or that just wait and do the SQE when it comes out, then just look at the pros and cons. I suppose. Tip number two, you've got to work on your time management during the LBC because obviously the workload is quite high, there's a lot of stuff and a lot of work that the lecturers and seminar tutors expect you to do. So if you're a very sociable person, you've got to be able to balance, I keep moving my hands so much, but anyways, you've got to be able to balance your social life and also your university life. And that's with all degrees, really and truly. However, with the LBC, most people find that they didn't have a social life, especially if they're doing the LBC full time. They've got no time to be doing like going out every weekend or going out during the week with friends because there's a lot of work. Moving into tip number three, 
<laughs> what you need to do is what I did, shall I say, and what worked for me. Obviously, this might not work for you, but manage your time. But also, what I found good was doing my seminar prep a weeks in advance. Although you could say, okay, you do the seminar a week before and your seminars a week after, by the time you go to your seminar, you're gonna forget the work that you was looking at or whatever the seminar's about. So what I used to do was do my work a week before and then like two days before, I'd go over my note and just refresh my mind, my memory of what the seminar's about and just making sure if there was anything that I missed, um, I can go back on it and just do that work and it's there but the main thing is that it's fresh in my memory so because I already did it in advance the majority of the time like my work was already done and all I had to do was actually just do touch-ups or something for the LBC you've got the practical part of it so that's writing drafting interviewing advocacy um, and stuff like that so then you've basically the way my university did it in the first term I think it was first and second term or first term you do pretty much all of your practical aspects so that would be alongside your modules so business property criminal you're doing it alongside them so then you've got literally a load of seminars within one week that you need to prep for so that's how it becomes a lot of, like the workload is a lot but once you've done that and your exams in the January all of that's out the way then the practical part of the LBC is done and it's just you doing your electives which is fourth tip which is quite similar to the third one it's to do with the work but I would advise to consolidate after every seminar make sure that you are consolidating my fifth tip is as you would have done at undergrad get involved literally get involved with the well not say the law school but the law society if you have a legal advice center um just anything you're interested in, extracurricular stuff just get involved if there's any schemes like mentoring schemes um with firms people that have been in your position before they can advise you they can give you tips on your CV, applying to a law firm, or VAC schemes, anything like that like to just network and connect with people and think about it, like it's your final year. Um, if you've done a degree and then you're going back to do a master's, it's your final year of university. And yeah, you wanna make the most of university goes by so quick, like it flies before you know, you'll be back at home or looking for a job within your career and trust me like it flies so just enjoy every minute. the sixth tip is personality as we all know in law and other careers as well people are very competitive and law students for some reason are ridiculously competitive however you need personality personality is one of the biggest traits and one of the best traits if your have. personality is not there i'm sorry but i'm not actually interested in the brains that you have or anything if you can't bring personality to the table and i feel like that's something that a lot of people forget like law firms are looking for good academics they're looking for people that know what they're talking about however personality is the biggest factor because at the end of the day, you're the person that's gonna be in front of these clients. You've got to be approachable, you've got to be confident, you've got to be able to communicate with people. And if you're lacking in these aspects and all you have is literally brains, it's not gonna, it'll get you so far, but with people and clients, it's not gonna get you very far and clients aren't gonna to wanna to work with you or come back to you. Employees aren't gonna to take to you if you don't have a personality. How this leads back to my tip is that the tip is don't watch other people. And I mean this in the most nicest way, but focus on yourself. Like in everything that you do, 
just focus on yourself and don't watch that this person's achieving that or so-and-so's doing this whether they're in your seminar whether it's your friends or a lecturer don't let someone else dictate to you where you should be if that makes sense and say if it's you're only just starting to apply for jobs now that you finish uni and you're getting rejections don't feel any type of way about it sounds so cliche but every i'm gonna actually write this here i think <laughs> every rejection is a redirection trust me literally the firm that you're meant to be at you will be at in good time the firm that deserves you same way not even just for lawyers but the job that you're meant to be at that is for you it will come it will come in due time you need to believe in yourself and not let any rejection or just because you're not what a firm was looking for make that affect you or take it personally you keep on going trying and applying for those jobs because someone will want you and they will hire you because you will be exactly the person that they've been looking for and tip number seven was to focus on yourself and not watch other people so it's just focus on what you're doing what you would like to achieve and your own goals and yeah just don't focus on other people it's the worst thing that you can do um, at the end of the day it's your life so whatever you want to happen you're gonna make sure that happens you can't focus on other people because then that blurs what you need to be achieving so it's like just because you're seeing other people achieving these things and in your head you're thinking oh my gosh like that so and so has applied for that and they've just got that straight away like don't think like that because little do you know that they were applying exactly like you and got the exact amount or if not more rejections than you did and now they've finally found the place that they're meant to be at so please don't let other people's successes get you down and make you feel as though you're not getting anywhere or achieving anything because at the end of the day your time will come i'm sorry but the world is big enough jobs for us all or for us to all be successful in a position that we want to be in so yeah these are the tips for the video those of you that are applying for jobs honestly i wish you the most success in your applications interviews and whatever stage you're at whether you are applying for training contracts or on in law and you're applying and looking for your dream job and whatever it is that you want to go into then i wish you the best successes and you'll get that job literally just believe in yourself be confident yeah you'll get it just you will get it don't worry so if you like this video please like comment and subscribe any questions that you have or if there's anything that you want me to speak about like topics to do with law then just drop a comment below and i'll try and incorporate it or make a video on it or incorporate it into one of my next videos but yeah so i hope you enjoyed this video tried to make it a short however it is what it is so enjoy your day thanks for watching bye